Hello guys. In this video, I'll show you how to count non-empty cells in Google Sheets. When working with Google Sheets, occasionally we might want to find the number of cells that contains data. In other words, non-empty cells. Today we'll cover three easy ways you can do that. Suppose you have this data set of only the employees who are present today and any empty cell indicates an absentee and we need to calculate the number of employees present today. The first and easiest way to count empty cells is using the count a function. Count a function only takes one parameter, the range of cells, and it gives out the number of non-empty cells in that range. We can write the count a function as and we'll get our desired results. The second method we'll cover is using the count if function. This function basically counts the number of cells which meet certain criteria included as the second parameter in this function. To count the number of employees present as in the previous case, we are using the not equal to operator, which tells the formula to count cells which are not equal to empty cells. So it counts every cell which has something in it. You can modify this condition to count the number of cells that meets that condition. The third method we'll cover is using the sum product function. This method works similar to the COUNTIF function, but in a very different way. We'll use the LEN function within sum product function. The LEN function counts the number of characters in a cell and compares it with zero. If it's zero, then the function will return zero. If it's more than zero, then the function will return one. And the sum product function will keep adding these ones for the range inside the LEN function and give us the count of all cells which contains more than zero characters. All of these methods work perfectly fine unless you have some cells which only contain spaces in them. They are seemingly empty but gets counted if you use any of the three methods above. We can solve this by adding the trim function inside the len function used in the sum product function. The trim function removes space characters from text. It's preferable to use this method for larger datasets and count f or count a for smaller datasets. I hope you liked the video. Hit like and subscribe because we'll be covering other useful formulas and functions which can save you a lot of time. Until then, adios amigos.